Sarah, say that number again. It was me. Oh, I'm sorry. $3,368.75. I got... And 75 cents. All right. That is the correct number. So you can see that, first of all, you, you would take five and a half percent times 175,000. So that's 0 0.055. The total commission earned was not that number. The total commission earned was $9,625, all right? We gave half of it away, which le leaves us with $4,812.50. That was what we call the Modulin Group's portion. The other buyer got the other 4,812, and then I got 70%. You got, I mean, I got 30%, you got 70, which turns out to be this number here. You wanna do another one? All right, let's do another one. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's got to be a better way to do this than that. So let's do it this way. $215,000 sale at 6%. We split with the buyer. That's the buyer's agency commission is a 50-50 split. You and I, now you've gotten really good and you're on a 90-10 split. So my question to you is, how much did Raymond make? Six hundred and forty-five dollars. That sucks as a number. That's not a lot. How am I supposed to feed my family on that? That's what I thought too. Let's be right then. Six hundred and forty-five dollars, right? That's what I got. I did. Okay. Yeah, you take ten percent of that. Yeah. So the back, so right here, the commission is $12,900, 6% of $215,000, half of that goes to the other side, half stays with us. So the half that's, or the half that stays with us is $6,450. So half goes to the buyer, half goes to the seller's agent. Of this half, I get 10% of it which is that number there. Got it? All right, do we need to do another or are we cool? Thumbs up? All right, cool. There are probably five or six math problems on the exam that deal with that, okay? So that is your compensation. Now your compensation typically doesn't change. 
our commission or our agreement will have it structured inside of that. It can be a constant commission, meaning it could constantly be a 50-50 split. You could have what they call a graduated commission inside of it, where for the first percentage or the first dollar figure, you get a certain percentage. So on the first $5,000, you might get 50-50. On the next $5,000, you might get 70% of it. They call those graduated systems. I don't believe <coughs> there's any question on the exam that deals with what they call a graduated system, meaning it changes. All right. Now, on page 122, we talked about there's a thing that talks about what they call what are the services that a brokerage offers? They have full service agencies. Most companies tout that we're full service. We'll list your house, we'll take pictures, we'll have an open house, we'll do a CMA, all of these things that the client wants to do. That's fine. Now they've also got these other companies that are called limited service companies. And limited services is a brokerage that is becoming more and more popular because what it does is it allows them to charge a lower commission. All right, so for example, you could say, hey, the Modulin Group only charges 1% commission, but we don't hold open houses. You know, so that's a limited service. Oh, well, my buddy does it for seven, but he'll hold an open house. Really? I'll do it for one, but no open house. Which do you want to pay for? So those are called limited service agencies, and they are allowed to exist. Except for, I'm not picking my butt, by the way. That's my chair that got a nail just popped up through it. <coughs> yeah, that's the worst part about this, isn't it? You're like, am I on camera? Oh, wait, I am. Oh, sorry. I thought, I thought my camera was off. Or what's worse is when you think it's off, you're like, oh, I'm on camera? Sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys, I don't know if you follow my Facebook. It's called Comedy by Raymond. That's where I always put my stupid shit so I don't get in trouble. I, I said, yesterday, I posted one and said I had a new PR. I sneezed and blew a booger about 15 feet. That was a new personal record. Now, the limited services is okay. Have you guys ever heard of a company? I, I know you haven't, but I love saying this company called home yeah home yeah y-e-a-h you have it because it went out of business because of this situation if you want to be a limited service agency that's cool except for you must do a minimum level to be considered a real estate agent I cannot just push you. Ross, are you there? Shake your head. My thing just said Ross left their group. And I see your picture right there. I'm like, <clears throat> you must at a minimum do these three things on the bottom of page 121, three, 123. To be considered an agent, and we will see later the definition of agent. To be considered the minimum level, you have to accept and deliver all the offers and counter offers. You cannot allow another agent to talk to the seller of the house directly. If you are their agent, you have to accept the offers, all right? You have to assist the client in developing those offers and counter offers. So you've got to actually give them advice. 